Hey guys, it's Kevin Baxter back again with another quick tech tip uh, for Daytona Twin Tech Systems. Uh, today we're going to cover something that uh, you would have to deal with if you are working with our TCFI or VRFI ECM replacement auto tuning systems. Um, as some of you may know, we offer those systems in an Alpha N as standard out of the box, but we also do a 100 kPa speed density as well as a 300 kPa speed density, which is specifically designed for turbo and procharger applications. Now, when you initially install either the VRFI or TCFI PC Link software, uh, by default, the software is installed for the Alpha N system. So what I'm going to show you is a quick tech tip for how you need to modify your software in order for it to work with the speed density systems. Now, I'm working with Windows 8 here. Yours may look a little different. Um, so you might have to do a couple things different here than what I'm doing, but uh, overall, you'll, you'll get the idea. So the first thing we need to do is access the C drive and locate the folder that the program files are installed for the TCFI or VRFI. So here, um, we're just going to use the TCFI. You'll see the name of the folder here. Uh, version 17, of course, is the uh, latest version. When you open that folder, typically it will be the fourth file down. You'll see this PC Link TCFI here. And you'll notice when I've highlighted it that it is a CFG file, also indicated over here. Uh, if you had any questions or if your computer set up and it doesn't show a file type, you can always right click and go to properties. Uh, when you do that, it's going to tell you the type of file, which is a configuration file, CFG. Uh, once you confirm that, cancel. Uh, then we're going to go back up to the file name, right click on it again, and select open with. Now you'll notice here that since um, obviously I do this quite a bit, uh, mine's already chosen to use a piece of Microsoft software called Notepad to open the file. Uh, you may have to click more options or go through a slightly different menu, but the idea is you want to open the file using Notepad. Once you click on that, you're going to get this window and uh, you'll see a bunch of gibberish at the top and um, a, a lot of uh, exclamation points here that kind of explain what's going on below. Uh, but the bottom line is we want to scroll down here to where we see an exclamation point where it says configuration statements section. Okay. Now I have already set this one up for utilizing a map three, or excuse me, a, a three bar map sensor. Uh, and, and a 300 kPa system. So how this would vary, uh, if you are working with a 3 bar map sensor, you would want to make sure that you have the value true in this line here. Uh, as the system comes out of the box, you would see uh, in the Alpha N system, you would see a value here of false. So if you're working with a 3 bar map sensor, make sure that says true. Uh, you would also see um, on, under the standard installation, uh, the system for Alpha N calculates base injector pulse width automatically. Uh, with a, uh, a speed density system, we want to calculate the base injector pulse width. So uh, in this line here where it says manual base injector pulse width, again, if you're working with a speed density system, you want to make sure you have changed that value to true. Uh, also here, you'll notice speed density. If we're working with a speed density ECM, make sure that value says true. In the Alpha N system, both of those would say false. Everything else you can leave as is. So how we want to apply this, if we go up to File and click Save, it should automatically save that those changes to that configuration file. Now again, depending on your Windows version, uh, you might have to do a Save As, cut and paste the file name back into the folder, uh, various other different things. Uh, it also depends on how you have your computer set up. So um, you'll, you'll have to work with that. Um, and, but the idea is just to make sure, again, that you have that correct file in that program folder. So I'm going to click Save. And a couple of things that you'll notice, uh, go ahead and close out of this window. You can close out of that one. When you reopen your uh, TCFI or VRFI PC Link software, um, of course, here, I don't have a computer connected uh, in ECM, so we're going to click No. Uh, the, the easiest way to confirm that you have done that configuration file successfully, if you go to Edit, Edit 3D Table, you'll notice here it says VE Table instead of Alpha N Table. So that confirms you have changed the software format correctly. And also, if you had a map 
uh, loaded in the system, then you could go to Edit 3D Table and Advanced Table, and you would see that uh, you now have an adjustment range uh, all the way up to 300 kPa uh, instead of just 100. So again, that confirms that you are using a um, you've entered the configuration incorrectly uh, for utilization of a three-bar sensor. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email to kevin at daytonatwintech.com. And we greatly appreciate you watching. Have a good day and ride safe.